Jesus, in this passage, has just come down from the Mount of Transfiguration. When he returns, the disciples who had been left behind um, were arguing with a group of religious leaders. And there was a man who had come to them with his son who was demon-possessed. And, and he brought his son to the disciples to have this demon cast out, but they were unable to do so. Hence why they were arguing with the religious leaders. And so Jesus has just returned. They bring the boy to Jesus. And upon bringing the boy to Jesus, immediately the demon flings the boy to the ground. And the boy begins convulsing and foaming at the mouth. It's quite a scene if you can imagine it in your mind. And this is what happens next. In Mark 9, it says, And Jesus, he asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. It has often thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. And here lies the crux of the matter, this one statement the Father makes. If you can do anything, to which Jesus replies, if you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the boy's father cried out and said, I do believe. Help my unbelief. All things are possible to him who believes. Mighty reigns. Heavenly creatures praising God. And then heavenly creatures, angels, angels and elders, and a myriad praising God. And then all creatures, all peoples, every living being on the face of the earth, a multitude praising God. Praise is the highest occupation of the angels. And I contend that what is fitting for the angels must also be fitting for mankind. Praise is the highest function of the human spirit. Praise is the highest function of the human spirit. Praise is the greatest good, highest joy, the most exquisite delight of the human soul. If praise became what our lives revolved around, we would see these things drastically increase. And the things that praise wouldn't necessarily cure, it would certainly bring a lot of healing. And if we praised God more and adopted an attitude of praise, we'd see a lot of change, not only in our culture, but also in the church, if we praised God more, if we adopted an attitude of praise Praising God takes the focus off of self. Praising God dispels self-pity. Praising God dispels defensiveness and hostility. If you desire God's help in the storm, then you must praise Him in the storm. Francis Metcalf has said, Thanksgiving and praise is the way to victory in every situation. And I think he's right. Praise is the highest form of prayer because it combines petition with faith. Praise is the spark plug of our faith. It's what gets our faith going. It's what strengthens our faith. Praise is the solution to the problem of living faith and successful prayer. Praise Him with resounding symbols, and I love this part. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, God, we offer you the praise because it belongs to you anyway. All the glory and all the honor, all the majesty, it is yours. You are the one who spoke the earth into existence, all creation into existence. You did that.